Indianapolis attorney Milton Thompson remembers conversations with Gonzalo Curiel on IU's Bloomington campus well. We talked idealistically about how we were going to change the world one day. Curiel moved to Northwest Indiana to practice law before launching an extensive career in California that included nearly three decades with the U.S. Attorney's Office. He prosecuted uh, um, the gangbangers, um, the Mexican cartel, even so much so that uh, they threatened his life. President Obama appointed him to the federal bench in 2012. His confirmation by, by the full Senate uh, was a, a significant confirmation, uh, showing that this guy um, uh, was, uh, uh, really had the heart uh, for Americans, uh, really had the heart for the judiciary, had the appropriate temperament relative to how it is he would adjudicate cases. Donald Trump is standing by his remarks, going as far as to call for Curiel to be disqualified from presiding over the Trump University case. I'm He's a member you. of a, a uh, club or society, very strongly pro-Mexican, which is all fine. But I say he's got bias. I want to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall. The Indiana Democratic Party is accusing Republican officials at the state level and members of the congressional delegation of turning a blind eye. Chairman John Zodi is criticizing Republicans for not condemning Trump's attacks on the judge. The silence is deafening and it should be a wake-up call for Hoosiers. In a statement, the chairman of the Indiana Republican Party calls the criticism another typical stunt from the Democratic Party to distract Hoosiers from real issues that impact their lives.